Hi, I'm Wendy Hyam, and I'm your Pamper Chef Consultant, and today I'm going to show you how to make Pico de Gallo using our manual food processor. And it's really simple, and there's just a couple of steps in making it. The first thing we want to do is unscrew our lid to our manual food processor and make sure that the blade is on. And then we want to go ahead and take our onion and we want to quarter it into chunks and go ahead and put that just right on in there. Let's just throw that away. And then we want to put some rubber gloves on because we're going to be working with our jalapeno. And we want to go ahead and cut that top off. Now the hardest part, hottest part of the jalapeno is the, the vein, the white part. So the hotter you want it, the more vein and seeds you leave in. We don't want it hot, so if you have a scoop, you can just take your melon baller, and we have a nice core, but you can just go ahead and scoop that on out into your trash and we're going to just go ahead and take that all out and we're going to take it and we're going to take the other half as well and take that vein out. And then I like to rinse my peppers out. So I'm going to rinse them out to get rid of, make sure all my seeds are out. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and chop those in half and throw those in. Let's see. And let's chop it one more time. So they're kind of we're into thirds. And then we have some garlic cloves we're just going to throw in. And then um, some lime juice. Pamper Chef has a light, has a juicer. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use my juicer that I got from Mexico. But I will show you what the Pamper Chef juicer looks like. And I will, because these limes are bigger, I think I'll be using it on my next go around when we make the guacamole. Okay. And then 
then what I want to show you is our herb stripper. You'd go ahead, this is the herb stripper, and you take your herb that you want to strip, like our cilantro, and you stick it in and you pull and you've got your herbs. So we'll get these herbs in because we want some herbs, some cilantro in here. And it makes it nice so you don't have to sit here and chop them up. Just need to find those ends that I had. And we want it loosely packed. And it takes a little bit to get the hang of it. Take my gloves off here. I'll throw that in. Maybe a little bit more cilantro. Let's see what we can come up with here. Just strip that. And if you don't like cilantro, you can do less. If you really like it, you can do more. Okay. And then it calls for a half teaspoon of salt. So we're going to go ahead and add our half teaspoon of salt. And I didn't know that you couldn't see this. So let's screw the lid on. And unlock this. And then we're going to do some couple of pumps. And it's going to get this all chopped up. Move this cilantro so you can hopefully see it's getting chopped, chopped up. Okay, now what we want to do is we have some grape tomatoes. And we want to add half of our grape tomatoes. We have two cups. And we're going to add one cup right now. And we're going to put that back on. That lid back on. And we're going to go ahead and chop away again. And as you can see, we're getting some nice color going and dices. And so let's go ahead and things around and take our last of our 
great tomatoes. Well, we got a pretty full container here. So work out. So the more you can go. Easier it gets. And you just chop this till you get your desired consistency. But you see, this is some pico de gallo right here. And then I think about this we do need to chop it a little bit more but i want to have you see what we have here maybe i'll stir it up a little bit oh i don't want to do that our blade's going to come off we'll push these tomatoes down is the nice thing about this container is is it comes with a lid so this can also act as your storage as well so you don't have to use another bowl so that's how you make pico de gallo in your manual food processor it's pretty simple hope you give it a try